Because through pain is the only way you grow. Watch this. How many of you ever heard the phrase, don't let hurt hurt you? Heard that, right? No? Yes. yes. Don't let hurt hurt you. Right? I mean, I was a six-year-old boy, got jumped by a gang of teenagers. They beat me up. I'm a six-year-old boy, they're teenagers. Beat me up, slam me in the field, start stomping over me, kicking me like I was an ant or a roach. By the time I'm bleeding from everywhere you could bleed, you think that was enough. I'm a six-year-old boy, they're teenagers. They then flip me over after they stomped all over me, I'm bleeding. They take a bucket of tar, pour it on my face, pour it on my body, took a bunch of feathers, they threw them on me, they left me there. I almost died, almost suffocated. Somebody rushed me to the hospital. As a six-year-old boy, listen, a six-year-old boy, listen, I've been through uh, physical abuse and verbal abuse and sexual abuse and tried to commit suicide on two occasions, and I'm so glad I failed. Yes. See, some stuff you're supposed to fail at. <laughs> Because suicide is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. But here's what I want you to understand, my friend. Through all that pain, listen, my friend, I didn't realize it, but successful people literally learn to become comfortable in an uncomfortable and painful situation. Why? That's when the greatness comes out that you didn't even know was there. And the greatness is on the inside of you because you have greatness in you because God yes. made you and he made you in his image. Yes. Whether you believe in him or not, yes. he still believes in you. But watch this. So here's the thing. But it can't come out unless there's pain. We said in the martial arts, he played in the NFL. No pain. No gain. No gain. Are you with me? So watch this. So instead of running from pain, I learned to find out the lesson in the pain. So now I say don't just not let hurt hurt you, but don't let help hurt you. Because when help comes too easy to come by, you don't learn the lessons you need to learn to make it. Right. A little, I talk about it in my book. There was a little caterpillar that was metamorphosizing into a butterfly, that cocoon, that dark place, that lonely place, that seemingly impossible to get out of place, Richard. The little boy thought he was going to help the little caterpillar. He took out a butter, a pen knife, excuse me, cut a little hole. When he cut out the hole, out plopped this half caterpillar, half butterfly, struggled and died. He said, Dad, I, I was just trying to help him. I, I, what happened? He said, son, you don't understand, but God in his wisdom, he put that caterpillar in the butterfly, uh, into the caterpillar to turn to a butterfly because as he squeezes uh, and struggles uh, to get out and it hurts and it's painful, but the blood is causing his wings to be formed. You short-circuited the process. You thought you were helping him. You hurt him, and he didn't get a chance to fully develop. And I can tell you, my friend, it's through the pain that I've been through that I learned some lessons that changed my life. It's through the pain that caused me to have the integrity, to have the character, to have the will, to have the work ethic. And I'm telling you, my friend, what I used to say, God, why me? And now I learned to ask, what are you trying to teach me? Because right. as soon as you learn the lesson, the soon you can go yes. through, so watch this. Within yes. your pain, help me out. Within yes. your pain, say it. Within your what? Pain. pain. It's hidden power. Yes. And hidden power can be used to create profit. Awesome. Go ahead, go ahead, speak. <laughs> yes. The thing that caused me the most pain caused me to say, that's never going to happen to me again. I'm going to learn how to protect myself. Yes. Okay, but what happened? Mama won a free month of karate lessons. I went with her. After a while, her free month was gone. She started paying money. Free is good. But when you're serious, you're willing to invest. And when that's I'm done right. speaking, right. I'm going to offer a package. Yes. I'm, not, I'm ashamed. I got some materials you need to get. Why? You, you're not going to just be changed by hearing me talk this one time. Right. Listen, you can't, you can't teach a proper technique in one session. The, the difference between the martial arts and everything else, they taught us what to do. They showed us what to do. We had to do it and then we had to do it over and over again even after we thought we already knew it we had to keep on doing it and then we had to teach somebody else but you come to a seminar hear a guy talk and think you knew know something go ahead go ahead go ahead go. man that is good say that one more time <laughs> i said we go to a seminar and we think we learned no you got to practice over and over and that's why i produce cds and books and so why you did it over and over and over again and over and over that's how you got to the nfl they didn't the coach didn't show you one thing one time you said i got it no get out there practice practice coach i got it no you don't keep on going so i'm telling you your pain is some of your greatest power and don't run from it learn to embrace it now, I'm not wishing upon you any more pain than we need, but I'm just saying, my friend, pain is what I learned that some pain is my best friend. Right. Why? Because it teaches me, it causes me to go deeper and understand there's things inside of me I didn't even know was there. Yes, yes, yes. So they tarred and fell me. I said, that'll never happen again. Mama started, she paying her money. She get better month after month. One month, she got too good. I said, what's too good? My five foot one mother got in a fight with her six foot two boyfriend. She knocked him out with a side snap kick to the jaw. Oh, <laughs> I looked at my brother Ronald, Ronald looked at Lonnie, 
We all three looked at the guy on the ground. We said, man, whatever you do, don't mess with my mama, because she bad, man. My mama bad. <laughs> and it dawned on me, if martial arts could help my mother, it could help me. Are y'all with me? So 46 years later, hello. So watch this. Here's your pain. It's a picture of our pain. I, I, I would to God we didn't have to go, but I'm telling you, and we all have children, which they didn't have to go through, but I'm telling you, there's some things you can't learn unless you go through them. See, the butter, the little caterpillars complaining, I'm losing my legs. Yeah, because you bought the fly, silly. <laughs> In order for a, butter, a caterpillar to become a butterfly, it has to cease to be a caterpillar. That's why personal development is so powerful. See, you become more than what you are. You, you, you grow. And so again, you got to cease from who you are now. you got to cease from that and learn to start investing in yourself because you are powerful. You're powerful beyond measure. And in your pain is hidden power. And your pain usually is a symbol of your gift. And your gift will make room for you. And your gift it turns into a passion. You can make profit. So right now, in the martial arts, we yell. That yell is called a Kia. Now, when you, that scientists say you increase your strength capacity by 10% by the yell. So I'm going to come up here right before I hit it. I'm going to yell. That yell is called a yeah. Kia. Yeah. Then I'm going to come down here. Bam! They should break. <laughs> if they do not break, I will yell a second time. That will not be a Kia. That will be you come up and take care of it. <laughs> All right, here we go. So what I want you to do is this. If I'm willing to break through these physically, are you willing to break through in your mind and in your spirit and say, listen, every pain that comes up against me, I'm just going to break through it. Yeah. Okay, here we go. On three. This is one. Peace. 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 Peace.